Hello friend. Here I am going to provide a concept for floating roof for horizontal storage tank. Basically this concept has came to my mind around 3 to 4 years back. But somehow I could not test it because of the resource constraint. I will be very happy if somebody can test it and share the result here. Before I start on this concept, I will request you all to subscribe this channel so as you keep on getting the update on a new video posted by me. Here is the typical look of the horizontal storage tank which is having a dish stand at both the side and couple of manhole which is having various pipes going in up to the bottom of the tank like say this is a dip pipe, this is a fill pipe and there are two other product drop pipe. The issue for installing the floating roof is because of the variable length of the tank. Like at this section the length is like this and if you go down the length is get reduced because of the dish tank. Similarly if you will see at the cross section, these stiffeners are provided to retain the shape of the tank. And this stiffener will also create a hurdle to install the floating roof. At the same time, the diameter of the tank is also getting changed. Like at this place, the diameter is like this. And at this place, the diameter is increased. So what is the solution? So far, there is no solution. And millions of the tanks are provided without having any floating roof concept on this tank. The only thing which is provided on this tank is the PV vent to restrict the evaporation losses. This is what is the typical installation of the PV vent. So whenever the pressure is built up inside the tank, the gasoline vapor is ev evaporated uh, and uh, is emitted to the atmosphere or environment. And whenever there is a is vacuum or low pressure inside the tank, the air is sucked from this vent and fill up the air inside the tank. This is what is the typical look of the PV vent. But in any case, even if you install the PV vent, we somehow emitting the gasoline vapor into the atmosphere which is not good for the environment at all. So that is what I have discovered and decided to develop a concept. I thought of like having a ball which is having filled up with the, some liquid up to 25 percent or some heavy weight up to 25 percent and let this ball should float on the top surface of the PMS or gasoline. The purpose of having the weight at the bottom is to avoid the anti-clockwise or clockwise rotation so that if it will have the clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation, what will happen, the, if this area will go on the top, then the PMS attached to this area will get evaporated very fast, which will be restricted with the weight at the one side. Once we will put such kind of a ball inside the tank, this ball will get adjusted automatically because of the buoyancy force and it will look like this and it will get adjusted surrounding to the pole or various pipe or stiffener inside the tank. Now somebody can say because the ball is a sphere in shape and it may still have some kind of a area available which will expose the PMS or gasoline to the environment or air. Yes, it will be. If you will see this red section is the PMS, but yes, if you are having a two or three layer of the ball, then definitely this area can get reduced drastically. But even if this red area is there, it will be only up to five to ten percent of the total surface area of that on the tank. And this five to ten percent is not going to have major impact. This I am not telling you just because of. Uh, saying this but I am telling you because of my experience let me share my experience in one of the location 
we are having the floating skin tank where the skin is totally damaged like if you see the pole negotiator is totally damaged and at this place the PMS or gasoline is in direct contact with the air here the joints are open and similarly like this so in this 29 meter diameter of the tank at some places the floating screen was completely out which was up to 10 to 15 percent of the total area of the tank and on the top of the tank we see because it was a floating screen we always have an open breather of this kind sort so it is all open to the atmosphere tank but when we have compared the result of this tank with only 10 to 15 percent open or exposed PMS or gasoline to the air with open or atmospheric breather, the loss on this tank was quite low even in comparison to the low pressure <coughs> gasoline tank. So with this example it is proven that even with the restriction of the exposed area the evaporation loss get reduced drastically. So after placing this balls it will look like this if you are placing too much of ball it may form the second layer if the balls are little low at some places only it will form the second layer and it will get adjusted automatically with respect to the various pipe available inside the tank and similarly it will get adjusted automatically with respect to the stiffener provided inside the tank. So to my mind this is a very good concept and in fact I am very happy to inform you similar kind of a concept I came across at a Los Angeles reservoir where they were having a problem of the bromide which is generally a harmless component in the water. They were treating the water with the ozone and other chemical having the chlorine before supplying to the various household and the industry. The, when the bromide was reacted with the ozone it formed the bromide which is a harmful component and the limit set for the bromide is up to 10 microgram per liter. But one day one of the beverage company has observed the water bromate level is up to 30 microgram per liter and they complained to the water supplying company. On investigation the water supplying company has observed that the bromide and the chlorine which is came from the cleaning agent of the water treatment plant and the sunlight are forming the bromate automatically and sometimes it is going beyond the permissible limit subscribed by the regulator. So now for that water company there was a only solution either they can uh, reduce the chlorine or bromide or sunlight but it was not possible to remove the bromide and chlorine so they decided to restrict the sunlight. So what they did? They just designed a ball which is, was partially filled with the liquid so as a weight can have a one side and they poured 90 million balls into the Los Angeles reservoir. With this 90 million balls when it has been poured to the Los Angeles reservoir it, will, it has covered the entire surface of the reservoir to restrict the sunlight. This picture was provided by Vox.com. So after pouring the 90 million ball, the reservoir looks like this. And whenever there was having a two or three layer, the reservoir was looking like this. So entire top surface of the water was covered with these balls. So it has restricted the sunlight, thereby formation of the bromate. On later date they observed because of placing of these balls the water temperature has gone down drastically and evaporation of the water has reduced to a large extent. So again it is proved that the evaporation of the water is reduced 
because it has got a limited contact with the air and it has also reduced the water temperature. So similar concept can be adopted on a evaporation loss restriction in a horizontal storage tank because we are reducing the surface area which is in contact with the air. So guys, <coughs> I will suggest <coughs> anybody who has got a resources, please try out this concept and see whatever is the result. Generally on a retail station we have got a tank capacity up to 19,000 to 22,000 liter and to my mind you may be needing up to 50 to 70,000 or 100,000 balls. But if you will find some success on these results, please share with me either through direct email or in the comment box of this video. Because I feel it is all necessary to save the environment because we have got a millions of the retail outlet all across the world which is continuously emitting the evaporation or gasoline vapors into the atmosphere and it is all our responsibility to save the profitability or profits of the retail outlet. I once again please notify me if somebody does the trial on this concept. Thank you for listening me patiently but please again don't forget to subscribe as lot more to come. Thank you once again.